Craig, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out. You work with Siklu, and everybody's keen to hear about your high throughput backhaul solutions you guys have out. Oh, thank you so much, Craig. Yeah, it's <laughs> a absolutely phenomenal new product. Um, Best thing ever. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, so Nevertheless, so it's the first of its kind, 60 gigahertz beam forming and um, beam steering technology in 60 gigahertz. So. Um, it's a, a phenomenal product in that it gets uh, 300, 350 uh, meters, if you will. Um, beam steering makes it a very uh, 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 quick way to install, if you will, because of the um, uh, uh, alignment is uh, basically pointing in the general direction uh, from the base unit to the terminal unit, or BU to TU. Uh, we have the capability of going one base unit to eight t terminal units. Um, the platform has 1.8 gigabits of throughput available on the base unit that is of course shared with the white gig uh, chipset from Qualcomm, who's also an investor of Siklu. Um, <coughs> can we coordinate? On the, on the back end, the 1.8 gigabit is of of throughput, is that unidirectional? So I can download, is there like a 10 gig SFP on this thing? Or are we talking about transmit and receive added together? So the 1.8 is actually a uh, dynamically al allocated up and down okay. uh, per TU. So being a Y gig chipset, uh, that 1.8 is also split up per TU that you put on the base unit or terminal unit to terminal base unit. unit, right? So, uh, so consequently, you know, at eight, you're going to be slicing that 1.8 between those, but each one of those will get a dynamic up and down okay. of that throughput that's allocated to that TU. So, so. if I'm going to cable this thing back in my network, what kind of interface goes into the base oh, unit? Oh, fantastic. We have PoE, uh, first of all, one gig PoE, two ports on the B BU base unit that uh, you can bring, you know, two individual one gigs up, or we have a uh, the new 802. Dot three uh, BZ standard for which allows you to do a 2.5 gigabit SFP plus uh, on the uh, unit as well to take advantage of the full uh, 1.8 gigabit of gotcha. Plus, so. so why choose a two and a half gig standard instead of going with the off the shelf 10 gig? Well, I mean the BZ standard is is coming of age, if you will. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the brands out there are um, are incorporating in that in their offering as well. Right. The switch brands are, yeah. are incorporating. And it's, yeah, like you're saying, it's not necessarily specific to you guys. A lot of people are starting to implement it. I've always just wondered because there's there's already so much Tinga got on the market. There's already so many optics. It seems like uh, the cost would be driven down by that volume. I was just wondering why why go with the two and a half as opposed to all the way to the ten. Um, um, we believe, and as I. Uh, a lot of our top customers believe that that advantage of having the two and a half and the five gig and the ten gig available on the same platform is an advantage. So, yeah, um, cool. so yeah, I mean, so it's so you're saying it's not just point to point, right? It's actually point to multi point. It is and point you... to multi point, absolutely. And so um, it is line of sight as well. So mm -hmm. that is um, uh, an advantage. And then uh, you know, as far as future with this platform, we do look at it to be a self-organizing network, or SON, or SUN, if you will, uh, incorporated into it, as well as software-defined. So, um, so we're incorporating those in some later applications that will be added to the platform, as well as a planning tool that will allow you to plan neighborhoods, um, etc., with uh, with our tool. And uh, it will also help in the installation uh, process as well, and that uh, configuration files will just be a one-click configure for mass distribution. That's cool. Where do you see this playing out most? Like dense urban environments, I assume? Um, yeah, I, I, I like to say that we're not the application to the farm. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, you said 300 meters, right? Well, okay, well, Siklu has a breadth of products, right? Right, right. right. V-band as well as E-band, 60, 70, and 80. So in the uh -huh. 70 and 80, we're able to give really a solution, if you will, to the provider. Um, and so to allow you to go, you know, longer distances, if you will, uh, depending on your threshold of nines. Some of our providers have over nine mile links today, operating at two gigabits of throughput, full duplex, 
Um, now they're backed up by an 11 gig gigahertz uh, microwave band. It's you know, an older model that's delivering maybe 150 megs or so. so but uh, nevertheless, uh, it's certainly an application that allows them to uh, deliver two gigs, five nines reliable circuit, right? And it's only affected when the rain falls. Right, right. And you're going to help people um, engineer the right solution for their climate, their Absolutely. distance. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Look, um, one of the, I've been with Cyclu for two and a half years, and one of the value things that is almost unspoken is is that we pride ourselves on making sure our customers are successful. Yeah. We do not want you to fail. Yeah. I. From a, a customer of yours, secretly shall not be named. I've seen some statistical graphs where they've replaced another vendor's equipment, where they were actually having to use two radios and aggregate those together with a single one of yours, and latency dropped by, I don't know, I think 90% across that length with zero packet loss, zero congestion. So, well, thank you for that. It's pretty amazing. One of the um, one of the uh, advantages that you get with our solution is the low latency. So um, our platform's maximum latency is 350 microseconds, and we have platforms that go down to less than 10 microseconds of latency. Um, and that's fully through the system. So, so if you think about it, you know, uh, I like to tell people that if you're planning to put video on your network of any kind, we're the absolute best medium on the marketplace uh, to deliver video. And the reason I say that is because literally millimeter wave inherently is 40% less latency than fiber itself. Do the, do the studies, right, right. You know, it's look well, it up. So. Light travels slower through glass than it does exactly. just through air. Right? So, exactly. It's yeah, the it's impurities in the glass that slow down the light. So, right. but, uh, so nevertheless, um, uh, you know, if you think of that, what is, what is fight or what is video uh, uh, need the best or the most low latency and high throughput and we deliver both of those in spades so. excellent well if people are going to find you out on the internet Mr. Craig Burgess how do they do that thank you yeah how would you have people find you then oh oh fantastic I'm on LinkedIn <laughs> <laughs> I got my uh, Instagram I do a lot of you know, I do a lot of bad uh, cake uh, pictures drive by my house yeah, <laughs> uh, no um, Craig dot B at cyclu.com is my email, 720-355-5030, uh, uh, sorry, 355-5030. Um, I live in the lovely state of Colorado and I uh, would love to visit you, but I handle the western region of the uh, United States and west, western Canada as well. So if you're in those regions, definitely look me up. Excellent. So, Thank you much, Craig. Thank you, Greg.